Hey everyone, Meowcity here, welcome back. Today we'll be going into the full tier on Darkest Dungeon 2. Hopefully it's not too bad because we're using kind of a blight group, so we're going to see what we can do. First we have to try to get the relationship back a little bit in order and are stressed down because this group it seems to be very bad at handling that. We're kind of learning how to manage it, but there's only so much we can do in the actual run itself and at the end, so we're going to see what we can do first things first we got another experimental remedy hopefully this gets rid of a few more quirks that we don't need well i mean not the ones i wanted to get rid of but actually really good ones to get rid of especially the gips on uh para there then we're going to be using these whittling tools get l de-stressed and then hopefully these playing cards don't stress us out too much or rather screw us too bad okay that one wasn't really needed, but everything else was good. And it fixed itself. So now, do we still have any unfriendlies? No, we do not. So that is a great start. <laughs> We're being totally honest. Now, we did not get any bobbles, we did not get any mastery points or anything like that in the sluice last time, so we're just gonna go straight into the full tier the farms and, and see what we can do. Overrun with putrescence and rot. Oh! They're respectful again. Anything interesting? Suffer we're not going to be using, but Plague Grenade is a very staple thing in our group, and it empowers Damien. So, that being said, that's really good. And of course, you know, the flagellant would like plague grenade. Grows unchecked and abhorrent. Now, what was the goal? Six or less road battles to get the thing we want. That is doable. Formless sculpture, don't really care about that. Where is the lair? It is way up there on the left side, right before that thing. I have to skip a few caches too, which kind of stinks. Okay, so I also want to avoid as many of the rough patches and stuff like that as possible. So if I do the assistance encounter to the academic study, that'll be one, two, well, that's something. Okay, that's a lot of battles otherwise that we uh, can't really afford. At least we know what's coming. So let's see what we can get here, and maybe they'll repair our stuff for us. That would actually be a really good thing to get. Scouting, wheel and armor, minus flame, or food. Ooh, the food would be really good to have on hand too, because especially if it's apples and cheese or something. I think I'm going to take that gamble. We've got one apple and cheese, I'll take it. We're going to need that for the boss, because a few of these people are low health. All right, and then, oof, I really want to hit as few of these rough patches as possible. And if I go here, I'm going to have a few of these forced battle things that are not going to end well for us. So let's go to the academic study. Not that I particularly want what's here, but it's something. It's like the lesser of all the evils. <laughs> I think I can still get to the lair from here. Positive quirk or combat item. You know what? Let's get the combat item. I don't remember what this is. We got Defiant, which is the health stuff. And otherworldly, that is going to be put to good use. That is going to be put to very good use. Alright, there's one of our armors down. And then we're going to have three fights in a row here, which is not the greatest, but it's workable. Alright, let's go with L. Oh, 
Okay. You know what? We're gonna chaotic offering so we can do the stars. I know we have malediction, but these things aren't very good to maledict. Acid or rain. Lashing daggers. Trying to blight them. Which seems to work very well. One's almost gonna die. She dies on her next turn, I don't have to worry about her anymore. Then, I might as well play Grenade because it's gonna empower Damien. Or strengthen Damien. And then that maid dies on her next turn. Then going through Noxious Blast. Breakthrough. Die. <laughs> I think this Butcher dies on its turn, so we can go at this one. And then we're going to Poison Dart it, and if we get a Blight off, I'm pretty sure it dies on its turn. That's nine. It's going to have one health left. So what we're going to do is heal. Spend our time healing because it's going to die. Now oh, we can't step so darn. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not going to have him hurt himself because that's what all of his moves actually do. One less obstacle in our path. And there's one of our mastery points. Minor Hail Drought, and the Curing Cup is something I really wanted. Because that's another on-hit Blight. The Loathing Whispers. So I think what I'm going to do is give that to Audrey. That way, whenever she does Flashing Daggers, she has a chance to Blight two people, and otherwise Poison Dart has just a chance of doing 9 Blight damage a hit, which is absolutely bonkers. I think that's what it adds up to 4, 6, 9, and then if it crits, it does 11. Yeah, that, that's just absolutely bonkers light damage that she can do if you do it right. And you're lucky. Pillaging brigands, enriching themselves as the world collapses. That's not much of a blockade there, guys. Are you sure you want to do this? All right, well, we're, we're just going to use this to heal up. And then we're going to give you a bonk, because you have the crit token. And then we're going to blight you, because you have the crit token. The fiend's strength. 7 out of 15. Agony by accumulation. And then we're going to blight you, and you're going to die in your next turn. Alright, we're, we're fine. So we're going to do this, first of all, for the stress, then we're going to blight him. Six around. We're going to heal Al, so he isn't too bad off. Ah, what steps is going to do? 14 out of 16, and heal us up, might as well. Oh no, two damage of the how much I just healed up. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna heal. Really, Al? Right, and then she can finish him off by hitting with the pick to the face. I think that's kind of fitting for what they've done. Defective. Another mastery point. Wow. And there are those gnarly knuckles I found at the store. Wonder if they robbed the store. All right. And here is this. No. No, no. For Damien. We're not touching this thing with the 10 foot pole. And then we got to get rid of stuff. So let's get rid of the minor heal drought and then lime mold because slime mold. All right. 
And then we're gonna have one more fight here, and then I'm gonna go up towards the quarter, I think. Of course you're gonna watch dog. Why wouldn't you watch dog? I right, flashing daggers, hitting both of them. At least the repost is gone. We're then gonna try to get rid of that doggy. No stress heal, really. Acid rain. I think the dog dies on its turn. I'm going to blight the hatchet man there. Ouch. Incremental. Alright, doggy goes. Then Al. What's Al gonna do? Let's go at the hatchet man again. Three, so let's get rid of the crack shot. The crack shot goes on his turn. Let's do this just because we can. This wound at least has been tended to. Because I knew the finishing blow was coming. And then how about some sweet revenge there, Damien? And it looks like he's gonna die on his turn, so dead of the night. Let's just be cruel. Cause that was fun. Greater threats await those who dare. They broke the mold with you. Yeah, they, they kind of did. All right. So once again, it would be kind of nice to get repairs of some sort. So let's, yeah, let's do that because we can and they'll help us. I know I could have gotten probably pretty good in item from that, but I think it was worthwhile. And looking at the map, the only way I'm getting to the lair is if I go to the hoarders. Of course. At least this isn't horrible. Alright, so, looks like I can't take out the Urchin like I want, but we can take out the Widow. Wow, if everything would have crocked there, that would be one dead person. Alright, let's still go at that Widow. I'm not gonna bother with the Chaotic Offering this time around. It's probably not worth it. So that's 7 out of 7. That's 4 out of 7. So let's... Plague Grenade these guys, blighting them. So that'll take both of them out. That's 3 out of 12 on the Urchin. We're gonna let the Urchin be for now, taking him out. So that's 2 out of the 4. With one really not looking good. One being dead from the Blight. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Flag grenading, that'll make it even worse on him. Six. Yeah, he dies on his next turn. Steady yourself. I can now hit him at least, so we're gonna do that. Taking him out. This lost soul dies now. Okay. The past is gone. Let it die. Now we're going to hit a Hoarder. We're going to be able to heal up a little bit after him. Wonder if he has anything good for us. Stiff drink for the Grave Robber. It's kind of funny. Nothing particularly useful here that we can afford. Do I want whiskey? And do we want the wild tea? Getting rid of Nervous for the Meltdown chance and the Stress Down might be okay.
Okay, so we'll, we'll get the wild tea just so we can get rid of a quirk later. And we'll get the whiskey just... Actually, would it be better to get the playing cards? We'll, we'll get them both. Probably gonna regret that, but we'll get them both. Then I'm gonna toss the bandages. As much as it hurts me not to go to the cache, we're gonna go to the other hoarder. I'm gonna hit a lot of loathing doing this. What's he got for us? We really would like that galvanizing goblet, but we can't afford it. <laughs> More stuff that basically we can't afford that I would like. So, whatever. We'll, we'll get the playing cards, and that'll have to be that. Mountain shutters. And we're off to the lair that no one wants to do. Reality once more. A psychic onslaught awaits. The loathing whispers. Oof. Nine torch. <laughs> Three torch. Steal yourself. The hulking horror inside will not fall easily. And they're frenzied. That is lovely. We're going to have to be a little careful here. Alright, so let's flashing dagger so we can hit the livestock too. And then I'm gonna save the magnesium rain. So we're gonna play grenade trying to blight them even more. Just absolutely pile the damage onto this guy. So if we can blight these two enough, I think we're good. Ooh. at the rain let's heal the that heal why are you not healing <laughs> okay I'm gonna wait on the triage kit for now I think we're okay to do that a slow dissection he's gonna die and six uh 25 oof all right we're gonna poison dart this one just to try to get more blight on him Measured and steady. That just hurts. Right, just so they can't eat them, we're gonna fester. And if we do this again, he's gonna die. Healing again. Really, one whole damage healed. Oh boy, this is gonna be a thing. Steady yourself. This is gonna be a thing. We're gonna use that corpse to heal, so what we're gonna do is get rid of this livestock. And heal up, because holy cow. Dead of the night healing. Could you please heal? <laughs> okay, maybe I just need to get rid of these things and heal on the next round. Burning stars, we'll just kill this one. Still gonna dead of the night to heal her, getting rid of the corpse. And since it needs one health. A simple variable. 
easily resolve. This shouldn't be horrible, I say. Alright, sacrificial stab. We're gonna get rid of the butcher with more health. The enemy weakens and lashing daggers. We're gonna blight both of them if we can. We resisted on both. Oof. This is gonna be a thing. Healing her because of the blight. Ow. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Healing Al so he won't die. It's three. So let's. Oof. You know what? It's actually sepsis. He'll die, we heal. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. This is, uh. <laughs> They're being mean. Alright, so now. Which would indiscriminate heal for? Let's get rid of the bleed. I know it's our last battlefield. He is just not doing it. It was weird. Poison dart, trying to blight. She dies. Okay. Now, we're going to try to do the de-stressing, but that's not going to work, is it? Oh, boy. We're trying. Like healing up for the boss fight. That's going to be more of a thing here. The flagellant can finish this fight up. And then he's 2 7, so if this goes off, he dies. Measure or not. And steady. I thought it was 5, not 3. Next turn he dies, though. So now we can use this turn to do what we need to do. Maybe. Hey, look, an actual heal. <laughs> Can't indiscriminate, so do what we gotta do. Another impediment. Cleared with him. Okay, so what are we gonna get? Holy beads, kinda worthless. Stage, coach loom, rose pig. What's this? If target burning plus 50% healing given. Well, given a trinket, that's kind of interesting. Get the galvanizing goblet, that's something we wanted. Kitchen knives, if target is blighted, but plus 15% crit, that is amazing for this group. Gain on crit, heal by two. So that could go really well on the flagellant or really anyone here and gain on blight resist. I think that means for our characters, gain extra action. And then don't care about whatever the trophy is. So, you know, whatever. Okay, we have this. Half eaten mother. The child is a ravenous avatar of degeneracy. The plan is going to be to maledict him. And hopefully get the debuff off. We're gonna have to poison dart. There's five. Oh no. Uh, we're gonna actually punish will do more, so punish him. Resisted that. Plague grenade. There's eight around. That also empowers or er, strengthens Damien. There's our malediction. Got the debuff off. Oh no, that's not good. Then we're going to Battlefield Medicine because it does more. The enemy weakens and wanes. Because it got took because it took damage, it's giving itself damage. Okay. 
Uh oh. Okay, yeah, he has a very high death blow resistance, so. Uh, I'm not sure how long that lasts, to be honest. I'm gonna do this. Three for three, three for three. So I guess we're gonna put this on her. This wound, at least. And then, weird reconstruction. Because she has to do that. We're going to triage kit Damien. Relief comes rarely in these times. And then, how much is he taking? Three. So he's going to die if we don't do that. Damien then can start building this back up. Maybe. Damage at least did. And now, the greatest test of all. I try this on it. Nope. Okay. More and more is not going to do enough because of all of the double hits. So we're just going to punish. Light resist again. Going to make sure she doesn't die. This road cannot be walked alone. Debuff is off. Plague right. grenade, hopefully this hits. And we bladed, okay. is really stuck in that loop. I'm not having good luck with that. He's toxic, which on one hand is good, on the other hand is very bad for us. I would pick to the face, but we need to absent. There remains a foothold out of this mire. Now climb. At least he moved forward, getting her back where she needs to be. Come on, I need to be able to heal. Everyone's where they need to be, healing the plague doctor so she doesn't die. Arrest this collapse. This is going very poorly. Welcome relief from caustic agony. Oh, we lost the flagellant. I knew that was a gamble. Alright, poison dart. Not getting blighted this time around. That terrible precipice. All right. Don't heal. She's gonna. That was a zero. All right. Well, he's got. What's her resist down to? Fifty percent. We're gonna risk it. And of course, got another harvest hunger. Everyone's at death's door. He's got 17 health left. I kind of figured that this would be a thing. I knew I wouldn't have good luck on him, but figured it was worth the chance. Uh, we're gonna have to do something about... Okay, we actually hit. We got a burn. Lost Audrey. She fades into the shadow. Ho, ho, ho. The last time. Well... One more turn and I think we would've won, but... Organic failure. That was not gonna be worth it in the end, so... Try and try again. You will break through. Interesting run. 
I do think I have a plan in mind, though, for how I want to edit that group. So I'm going to tinker with a few things. Um, and While the that group will be back in a fashion, but not fully back like that. Either Al or Audrey is going to have to be changed out for something. I'm not sure how I want to do it quite yet, but I have a few things in mind that I want to take a look at. So we'll see about that. And both of those were new. I thought they were. All right. So we will have to see what I can come up with for that because I really want to get to the mountain on Cowardice just to get to the um, see your mistake part with that with other heroes. I'll see what I can do about that. And hopefully we can get to the mountain again uh, with new people rather than just that same group that I had been using. So we'll leave it there for now and we'll be back next week or on Thursday and Friday, hopefully, and we'll take it from there. So, as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time, and please, have a good one.